In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this path-based animation in 6 minutes. We'll be using the Pac-Man mesh we created from the previous tutorial. Let's create a teapot. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. I'll create a 100 frame long animation and spin the mesh around 360 degrees. Let's create a curve point. If you don't see that, there's an add-on called Extra Objects to be activated. Click 3D and type E to extrude. Type A V as in Victor and A to smooth the curve. To create a path-based animation, we need to use the follow path constraint. There is our path-based animation. This was an easy example, because the mesh didn't need to face the direction it was traveling. What if we need to make the mesh to always face the path while traveling? By default, the mesh is facing the wrong direction. We must manually adjust the forwarded axis or up axis settings to make this work. That was easy, because the mesh was already facing the right direction to begin with. If the axis combinations don't work for you, either rotate the mesh in edit mode to make it work, or use an empty object instead. For the empty object method, we must create one and make it a parent of the mesh that needs to face the correct direction. After that, the follow path constraint needs to be added to the empty object instead. By the way, do you remember we only had a 20 frame long animation when we created the Pac-Man mesh yesterday? Unlike regular animation methods, we can't loop this animation easily, because the animation was created with shape keys. We could either manually create the shape key animation in every 10 frames, or we can use the shape key editor. First, we must select the mesh that contains the shape keys. This is how the initial 20 frame long animation looked like. If we don't add more animations, the Pac-Man mesh will travel the path with that look. 
To fix this, we must select all shape keyframes in the shape key editor, and duplicate them with Shift, D, and move them like this. This method is faster than manually creating keyframes, because it can be challenging when we have more than 1000 frames in total. The idea is to duplicate, select all, and duplicate again. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.